After the collision shown below, which of the following is the most likely momentum vector for the blue ball? Our initial condition just shows momentum in the x direction. That means we cannot have any momentum in the y direction after the collision. So this guy has a negative momentum in the y direction, so we have to balance it out with the momentum in the positive y direction to cancel that out. Okay, so what's going on in the x direction? M1 has a small momentum vector in the x direction. In the beginning, it was quite large. You can see this whole number. So I need to have some more momentum in the x direction coming from M2. So let's just draw it like that. So these are the components of the momentum vector for M2. When I add them together, I slide this guy over to here. So he's, let me draw a little dotted line here. Put an arrow, connect it up. The momentum of M2 will be off in a northeasterly direction. So the answer is D.